In this section I'm going to show you a basic inputs outputs port programming in Keel using embedded C. Here's the schematic work of this section. The CPU I use is AT89C52 which is similar to AT89S52. Both are MCS51 Cal from Intel. AT89C52 perform the same function with AT89S52 with some limited features. AT89S52 could be burned via serial peripheral interface while AT89C52 is not. In the Protoss simulator I can only use AT89C52, but in the physical hardware I use AT89S52 that I possess. In this program as shown in the picture, I want to read digital data inputs from P0 which is 8 bit wise, and display it to P2. The CPU run at 12 MHz from Crystal Oscillator. In the simulator we just set the frequency of Crystal in the Edit Properties windows. So we don't need to connect the Crystal to the XTAL1 and XTAL2 of the CPU. The RSD pin is used for reset. When it is high it will come to reset state. P0 is configured as digital input. All bits of P0 are pulled to high via 10 kilo ohm resistors, because this port is open drain. The DIP switch is used to set the digital data inputs. When it is on it will become low. P2 is configured as digital output, connected to LED to show the digital data readed from P0. Now let's start a new firmware project using Keel Microvision. Navigate to Project menu. Click on New Microvision Project. Save it to my project directory. Give a name to my project. Click on Save button. I expand AML, and looking for AT89S52 to work with. Now I select AT89S52, and click OK, I discard the startup file. Now I set some option for this project. The XTAL frequency is not important at this time. Anyway I set the XTAL to 12 MHz, on the output tab, I select create hex file to generate hex file when I build the project, now let create a C source file for the project. I name it to main.c. Now let's start coding. In include directive. Include the reg52.h to access the SFR for AT51. Now I name P0 to SW, meaning DIP switch. And P2 is named to LED. Now I write the main function. I assign P0 to 0xff, meaning all bits of P0 are input direction. I assign P2 to 0 by 0 0, meaning all bits of P2 are output direction. In the main loop of the program, it keep receiving the digital data from the DIP switch and giving the output to LED. Now I finish writing codes, and I save it. Finally I built the project. The project is built successfully with no errors. Now let turn into simulation software. Double click on the MCU, and select the hex file that we've just created to run. Click on Run button to start simulation. I change each input state on P0, 
and see what happened at the outputs on P2. Now let terminate the simulation. Now I burn the firmware into the chip. The software I use is ISP Programmer. It connects to the PC via parallel port running on Windows 7. First I detect the chip. I click on Read Signature button. It shows AT189S52 inserted on the programmer. I have selected the hex file to burn. I click the Erase and Program All to start burning. Now it's completed. The upper board is the programmer. The LED turns on while programming. Now the ISP programming is completed. I move the AT89S52 device from the programmer to my test board. Now turn on the test board, and test the program that I have written. Change the input logic value on P0 using DIP switch, and see the result on P2 outputs to LED. Thanks for watching.